Been in business in Cedar City since the beginning of 2011. I joined the Air Force back in 2004, right out of law school, and I loved serving as an Air Force JAG attorney. That was really awesome. And I did that for six years, and then my wife and I decided to settle down and stop moving around, and uh, we found Cedar City and loved it when we came to visit, so we decided to move here. About why I'm unique, I, I think the main thing is that I answer my phone. A lot of times they'll say that they called another attorney, perhaps someone who has billboards or something, and they, uh, but that other attorney didn't return their call, and so they call me and I actually answer my phone. So that's the first thing that I think is perhaps sets me apart a little bit. Uh, as for my qualifications, so for workers' comp, because that's primarily what I do, um, I started off just by reading a lot, studying a lot of cases. Uh, another thing is I'm a member of the Utah Association for Justice. We have about 400 attorneys and I participate in that. And for adoption, uh, I think the main thing that perhaps sets me apart is I, I don't just stop my representation once the hearing is done. I go all the way through and make sure that we get the new birth certificate for the adopted child from Vital Records. The main thing I want people to know about me and my law practice is that I don't try to do everything, but what I do try to do, I try to do very well and um, make sure that my clients, particularly the injured workers or the people who have been in a car accident, make sure that they understand, that they understand the, uh, the options that they have and make sure that they have the knowledge and information they need to make an informed decision. Injured workers or people in a car accident can reach me or people who want to adopt can reach me at 435-592-1235. I also have a website, <clears throat> timothydanielslaw.com, and I have a blog on my website. Most of the blog is about workers' comp. It's very practical advice to injured workers, things for them to think about, and if they have questions, of course, they're always welcome to call me, and I will answer my phone. Awesome.